What's up, everybody? I'm in the outer worlds already. Let's get the music going. Um, very excited about playing the outer worlds. Obsidian, great, great RPG studio. You might know them from South Park, but they've been making games since the early 90s, late 80s even. Some of the greatest RPGs, especially Western RPGs of all time. Some of the best writing ever in games. Check out Alpha Protocol if you haven't. It's super underrated. And uh, we're going to go live with their latest title, The Outer Worlds. Meant to be inspired by a little bit of Bioshock, a little bit of Fallout, but definitely its own thing. Um, they were purchased by Microsoft last year, or they were announced this year. So they're now working with Microsoft. So we should expect to see them with a big budget. Obsidian's always kind of struggled bouncing around from publisher to publisher, but this game is supposed to be really good and the future looks very bright for them. So let's go in and check it out. New game. We're gonna play on hard and hard enemies have more health and do more damage. Now there is a supernova difficulty, but I wanna actually beat this game. So I probably won't do this one. Conversation subtitles. Let's go. Hopefully everything looks good for everyone on stream. Fox, Wolf. We're going to go right in. I'm very excited. This is the PC version. Everything's on max settings. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Halcyon. Yeah, I did. I did a wolf. Okay, we got a colony ship. Everyone's dead on it. Sicker. Oh boy, I have to make a character. Yeah, Flox, I was really interested in you seeing this game because it's like a like not so much of a Skyrim Fallout thing, but a little bit, of, a lot more story elements to it. But we're a character creation already. I okay. Let's take a look. We have body, mind, personality, strength, and dexterity. Strength affects melee weapon damage and the amount you can carry. I always feel like carrying more is so useful. Dexterity affects melee attack speed and range weapon reload speed. Hmm. Mind is intelligence, critical hit bonus damage. Long guns, persuasion, hacking. Perception is headshot and weak spot damage bonuses. Mm, that actually looks good. It has engineering there. Anything else have engineering so far? I might want to go like a tinkerer type build. Charm effects, faction reputation, and companion ability cooldowns. Persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, science, inspiration. Temperament. Your natural health regeneration. That also has med uh, engineering in it. I kind of want to go... 
I love lock picking and I love engineering in these games. Hmm. I just don't know how. Like engineering is at the bottom of a lot of these lists, so I don't know how much it'll be a factor. Whereas sneaking and lock picking seems like it'd be very useful. But I want to go. I think I want to go with having. Hmm. Yeah, natural health regen does seem really good. Your affects your ability to lie. Companion ability. I kind of want to go. Intimidate, persuade, lie, hack, science. I kind of want to go with some charm. I feel like charm is my best real life trait. So I kind of oh if I wow have this one's charisma people might actually talk to me. Oh, so I could actually lose points in something. I hope you won't yell at me the moment I wake you up. You're easily brainwashed. Glad I found you before the board did. You could have below average intelligence, which means words are hard, thinking no good, dumb dialogue options unlocked. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. Two left feet, huh? No matter, bored outlaw dancing years ago. Interesting that you could uh, give yourself negative... High blood pressure. Could keep you from blacking out, at least. Huh. I want to have good personality. If I had this one's charisma, people might actually talk to me. Uh, let's get some good perception. So I could have some uh, engineering... Finally, evidence of intelligent life in Halcyon. And melee damage or ranged weapon? Hmm. All right, I'm not going to go with any body skills. I'm going to have very high charm and good intelligence, perception, and temperament. Next. Oh my God. I have two points here. So melee, uh, two-handed melee. I think I'm going to ignore all combat options and go with a lot of these kinds of skills. I'm going to go with inspiration. Or leadership. I'm going to go with leadership. A steady hand at the helm. And I'm going to go with... Oh, man. I think dialogue might be really good. The, the, the story and stuff is here really good here, but I really love being able to do lock picking and sneaking around and all that kind of stuff. So I think it might. I might go with uh, stealth. Subtle and discreet. Exactly what I need. All right, now we gotta look at aptitude. Let's see what we have for aptitude. Uh, no discernible aptitude. Determination plus one. Select a career aptitude that your character possesses. Each aptitude corresponds to a small bonus. Uh, medical inspiration. Where is the inspiration? Are the toss ball team mascot. There isn't a problem in all the cosmos that Team Spirit and a big stick couldn't solve together. The last major head injury in the field knocks some extra cheer into you. 
Okay, I really want to go, like I said, the team building style place place uh, session. Let's go with more inspiration. Oh, the damage to your soul may be irreparable. Okay, now we have to customize how we look. Okay, this should be good. I'm a dude. See what kind of heads we got. It's not bad skin tone. Oh boy, we got a lot of skin tones. And it looks pretty good too, actually. My color. We have crazy purple eyes. Oh, well, that's kind of close. The eyes, where they are. I never like changing eyes and jaw because I feel like once you do, the characters always look kind of strange. Hair. Hair is important. Hair will make or break this character. Oh, we got some good looking hair, by the way. Alright, chat. What kind of what kind of hair are we rocking for this guy? Oh, you can have a lady's hair. That's pretty great. Dude, look how good the hair looks. It's like a nice intricate design. That's actually not bad at all. I don't know. Oh, they do have the space mohawk. I kind of do give myself the space mohawk whenever possible. Let's see if I can make this uh, white. All right, eyebrow style. Facial hair. What kind of facial hair are you rocking here? Can I also make the 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 this stuff white? That's my hair exactly. Look at that. Kind of can't have a mohawk with that. I gotta have something else. I kind of like this look right here. We got the little bun. Looking very, he looks very smooth and handsome. This is just some regular hair. Yeah, I, I like this look right here. This is a good look. Makeup, it's all the makeup just crazy. Kind of is. Got some dirt. All right, what kind of scars do we have? Some burns. Let's get a scar. That that's good. Sub blaze. Get some age in here. Look a little weathered. Alright guys, what do you think? He's looking he's looking alright. I think he he looks he looks pretty good. Let's go in here and give him a name. Uh me name talks. That's 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 me. Alright, so the summary, I have an average body, average dexterity, good intelligence, good perception, very high charm, good temperament, and I have skills in lockpicking, engineering, inspiration. I'm going for a leader style build. I want to be the leader here. 
Start game with the character, yes. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Okay, so we got this guy who revived me, it looks like. Terra 2 Orbiting Laboratory. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Okay, pretty simple setup. What's going on, Blaze? What's going on, Flox? Wolfie? Everyone else watching? The Halcyon Observer. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He used to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... all the colonists are counting on you. I kinda wanna know what's his angle. Like... What, why the motivation? Like, why is he so willing to put himself out there for us? Like, what does he want from us? gonna be my partner taking his ship better you than the board huh not sure I trusted the fellow might have gone after the bounty on my head shame about the whole squashing thing nasty way to go well I guess Hawthorne is not gonna be a party member <laughs> but here we are man we're in the world that was a very quick opening let's just take it all in this is a very, I hope it's coming across on stream just a little bit, but this is a very pretty looking game. Look at all that world in front of me. 
Yes, Blaze. Uh, Blaze in the chat, everybody. He has a big interview today, so everyone send your spirit energy to Blaze. Put your hands up. Send him your Genki Dama of good energy and vibes. Dude, this looks really nice. Like, this is a clear step up from their Fallout New Vegas days. Look at that thing, he's so cute! I am playing the PC version, by the way. This is the Epic Store version. I am playing on everything maxed out. The game even encourages you to max it out, so they must have known they're going to optimize it really well. Oh, sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Now, mind you, I am playing on hard. So... I don't know how this is going to go on this difficulty. It was recommended that I play on normal for my first playthrough. But I said, eh, let's not do that. I like how it makes the grass transparent so I can see. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. The hell was that? You have low health. Use the emergency med medicinal inhaler to heal. Each activation consumes one Adrena. That's weird, an inhaler? I haven't seen an inhaler in a video game, like, ever. Oh, we got a character hey, here. you. Come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Oh, and see, this is the thing that Obsidian excels at, is dialogue, the choices, the writing. So I have a little bit of medical skill, so I'll see what I can do here. Medical, I'll try to patch you up. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Uh, Spacer's what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean... What are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. You're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Okay, I can do some skills already. Persuade. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun. I'll go get help. I can lie. Say someone grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. Or I can intimidate. You're an idiot. Give me the gun before you get yourself killed. <coughs> Let me try persuasion. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Uh, can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay. All right, well, I got a gun. So this game is picking up. I guess I have to destroy this stuff, even though... Just happened. Can you hear me? What in the hell? 
Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived during extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the TTD button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly. While moving in attacks, drain it faster. It refreshes slowly over time. Right bump for bullet time! Okay, I can aim down sights. Didn't think I'd be shooting so quickly. Take all. I'm all for some bullet time, everybody. If you guys know me, even a tiny, tiny little bit, I'm never gonna say no. Double click the jump button to dodge. Okay, weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time. Navigate into the weapon, select the weapon slot top of the screen. Also, inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, break them down for parts. Take care of your TNL weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. Okay. Well, we have a really nice looking inventory. Wow! My character has a really nice ass. I mean, I didn't get to choose my body type or anything, but he comes equipped with a rumpus. Look at that thing. He got definition from the back. You know what I'm saying? The side profile is he hit the thighs. I have a very handsome 70 year old man. All right, let's see what I have here. I have all these sabers. We have skill, damage, special effects, a little bit of lore. I like this UI. Uh, let's see if I can, can I add these to junk? Yep, they're in junk. Ooh, and they leave my inventory space when I add them to junk. Very nice. I got my journal. I gotta say, the, the font treatment, the UI design in general is very clean. It is very nice looking. The whole game is very nice looking, actually. Hacking and picking locks. Uh, mag picks are used to break open locks. Bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. Okay. I don't have what it takes to do that. Okay, I can try to hack this. Hold. Okay, right away, I just want to give them all the credit in the world. Let's just give them a lot of credit because they just did something I've been waiting for games to do a long time ago. They completely ignored the lockpicking minigame that all these damn Bethesda games have been implementing since forever. No mini game. Get that out of here. Just get what you need and then just hold down the button. That's a much better, much better system. All right, let's see if I can get a. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. 
I really like the uh, that instead of going for a vats where you're you're aiming at their limbs, they went for just a straight bullet time, and then you just have to kind of freely aim at different parts that way. Like I said, I hope the game's visuals are coming across because uh, this game is really nice looking in person. It's also running great. I mean, like I said, I'm running at max settings. I'm recording locally to my hard drive and streaming to Twitch at the same time, and it is still looking and running very nice. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Just a landing violation, let it go. Found one of your teammates. Really? How is he? He'll make it. Help them with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. This is really interesting. Like, A, like, like the characters and stuff, the voices are great. Like, it looks really nice. I think I'm so used to uh, Fallout-style camera awkwardly zooms in on face while they just stand still that this version of that system is uh, much more appealing visually. Also, everyone seems like they're trying to sell me something. Uh, let's see. Persuade 5. Lie. Intimidate. Go to persuade. Experience his choice guards back down from a challenge. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, let's go. I got your flank. I just earned a fine bonus. That marauder got destroyed. I was going to try to not help her, but I mean... He seemed like uh, very capable. Oh my god, my man got gibbed! He has no legs, no head, and no arms. What the hell does she do to him? This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Fast travel location you have unlocked. Look at the map. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. I'm not a marauder. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jetson procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all four parties in five. Whoa! Three, two, one. 
you are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne is supposed to meet me when I landed. Hawthorne's dead. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Engineering? Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Knock it off with this Captain Hawthorne nonsense. It is difficult for me to do so. I am programmed to accept commands from Captain Alex Hawthorne, after all. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Dude, the music in this game, uh, Flox totally nailed it. Like, it's movie level. Like, it's really good music. Uh, level up hype. Let's do that right quick. Uh, level up hype. You've gained enough experience to go up a level. Increase your health points. It gives you points to upgrade your skills to a new perk every other level. Okay. Auntie Cleo management training. Spill, skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points spent on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to the specialized skills up to 100. Hmm. Interesting. 10 points? Wow. It's, uh... I did not think... That it'd have something on that level. Uh, but let's go with more. Oh, you add plus one to everything in that category. All right, let's go leadership. I'm still determined. And meanwhile, we'll start working on some uh, ranged. So I want to use weapons here in this game. Companion abilities. Okay, I don't have any companions at the moment, so. Selecting a perk. You get a perk point every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Oh, okay, boy. We're getting a lot of stuff here. 20% uh, vendor prices, 50% XP from companion kills. Oof, more carrying capacity seems great. Few bits more.
resilient companion crit chance. Oh, here we go. Lone Wolf. 25% damage when you're alone in the party. That seems very useful if you want to play solo. Uh, more time dilation. I think I want the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Alright, well let's go get the uh, power back in this thing. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. I don't have a job, really, after I pass up your friend. Either lie or fight. Let's fight. Sorry, but I couldn't let her do that to me. Oh, look at that helmet, man. I really like the visual style they went with in this game. Nope, I had to do what I had to do. Attacking members of a larger faction will hurt your reputation. Choose your enemies wisely. Okay. If enemies are hostile but your reputation isn't kill on sight, leaving for a few days will calm things down. All right. Also, my ship is huge. Oh, look at the look at the planets, the moons. Got another ship up there. Got the rings of the planet that I'm on. I mean, just a really nice looking game. Like it's so I, I would say it looks nice, but it's also very bright and colorful, and it's just like. There's so many gritty, dark, and gray games, you know? Look at the city. That is... Uh-oh, we have enemies here. We have marauders. I can sneak. I wonder if they have to reload. I'm coming, man. You can't stop this. Oh, I missed. Help. Oof. Okay. Primal. Oh no, these cute little animals. Sleep. Resting into bed is relaxing and moves time forward. I wonder if I can harvest these mushrooms. Okay, no, I cannot. Looks like we're coming across our first 
major city. Wonder how much stuff is off to the side. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Just passing through? Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise through the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Why is everyone, like, just trying to sell me on stuff? Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Uh, who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the Junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Huh. You want me to collect with O to you. You're making people pay for their graves. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Okay. We're gonna find any people. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. Pick them another side mission.